What to do, everybody? Welcome to Space JB. I'm your host, Space, aka the Astronaut, and I'm back. They released the official gameplay demo for the Callisto Protocol, and I couldn't pass up an opportunity to share it with you all and react to it. If you haven't noticed from my last video, I'm super excited about this game. I can't wait for December 2nd, especially if there's no delays. I'm, I'm full-blown in it. I'm going to actually start doing more research on this game. That way, if y'all all want some more information about the Callisto Protocol, you know where to come to and tune in. If you like this content, just do me a favor. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way, you don't miss out on any of the stuff that I produce. And we can all stay up to date, baby. Without further ado, let's take off. always get me at the end don't they <laughs> they always get my ass at the end all right just a few just going over a few things i don't want to take too much time on this video yet i talked about this on my last uh video when it came to the callisto protocol the environment is phenomenal the first dead space did a great job of putting you on this gigantic ship yet it was claustrophobic very very claustrophobic lots of huge corridors and areas and the same thing in uh, uh dead space 2 lots of huge areas but yet they made you feel like you were trapped obviously you are you're on a fucking moon seemingly you're up against this whatever the hell is going on in this prison that's causing these people to turn turn into these monsters the probably the human like from the guards to the prisoners to all types of other entities and monsters that are here but the thing that i don't think a lot of people will pay attention to is the environment itself we're going to get into that a little bit later but the environment seems like that's going to be playing a big part as far as your luck and your unlucky nature in this I have like all these photos back there from whatever this is if that's a heart or a stomach with a parasite of some sort something Ugh. Lord, and it looks like a rib cage. This right here looks like a jaw again with way more than just 32 teeth in that mug. It looks like that is some gnarly situation you got going on. And I, I, I love when they do things like this here when they have like these like um, um, video playbacks of the past or what happened to kind of give you a little context. 
plays a big part in like, you know, should I be looking out for this thing? Is this thing still loose? You know what I mean? Another thing is what's about to happen coming up. Like you hear a little, the music is staying the same. Boom. And then, then you get this, like right when that thing pops up, I liked how they didn't lead you into that at the beginning. They didn't really, they didn't like, you know, tone it up until the door opened or whatever it is it everything stayed the same until that thing popped out and i love the element of surprise i want to be surprised in horror games i don't want to be kind of like i already i'm already on edge i'm already going to be looking around for what the hell is going to be popping around the corner and i want to be shocked by that i want to jump in my seat i don't want to have this build up and then that calms my shoulders down where i'm like the the music intensity doesn't really get to me all the time yet things like that really get to me and i, I love that i love that the he just popped up the hud the same and i want to talk about this right here what the hell is that what is that like gravity manipulation matter manipulation tk it seems like it has something to do with the thing that's on his wrist or whatever it is and is that like a way for guards to detain prisoners and things like that is by you know manipulating the gravity or manipulating matter or force around them to subdue them because it looks like it's having a hard time like just maneuvering around and then you can push it back so i want more information on that also the combat the combat looked f like it could have been a cut it could have been edited but what i loved is that it seemed like the transition from melee to distance fighting your firearm is seamless it's like you can just kind of you know do your thing do your thing grab your melee bada boot bada bip and then go back to your firearm it it might not be as smooth as a transition which is okay if it takes a little delay that's fine i love that that um that element of combat i like that you're going to be able to use your melee weapon you're going to be able to use your gun and there's a dodge mechanic in there you saw him hit the sway on buddy perfect time events i'm looking forward to it and I, I, I also i'm curious about when do you get that like electric baton when do you get that thing if is that something that you're is that like your bread and butter in the game is that something that you start off with or is that something that you could miss if you take the wrong turn you could go left and you're supposed to go right or you just didn't explore enough and you end up missing out on certain weapons and that could be one of them who knows who knows let's move forward um coming back to this area so the the suit obviously i i could talk about this 10 times out of 10 i'm very very curious about how this suit works because do you upgrade it where do you find it how like what is its purpose i'm curious i'm i'm the suits are a very big thing when it came to dead space and i wonder if the suit is going to be a very big thing when it comes to the callisto protocol because i won't be upset if it is and then the last thing that i wanted to talk about was this right here it when i was talking about the environment being against you this is exactly what i'm talking about it didn't seem like his life was low before he got knocked into this it didn't seem like his life was threatened or like he was like a yellow so this isn't like when you're close to that's a full that's a full green bar or it might be like slightly something missing if it's coming from left to right or whatever it is might be something missing but this guy knocked your ass into that my theory is is that if you back up too far or if you're just kind of willy-nilly moving around and you're not paying attention to your environment you could get decimated by the environment itself it's not just the enemies that are after your ass think about the weather outside of the prison the cold moon that you're on that could play a huge part too you might only be able to be outside for a certain amount of time similar to like lost planet and things like that so the environment is against you or it could work with you you saw him also throw an enemy into a fan it could work with you yet i feel you better be fully aware of your surroundings or it might not be the it might not be a monster that tags it you know what i mean it could be this spinning thing right here and lord have mercy mm. Mm. look at that look at you still up in it they're not i told you they don't pull away what i tell you they don't pull away There's a lot of things coming out. There's a lot of horror games on the way. There is the remake for Last of Us, the remake for Resident Evil 4, and probably a few others that I'm missing. Out of a lot of games, 
the the my most anticipated horror game that I'm very mu- is this one. I'm very much looking forward to the Callisto Protocol. I don't know how much to I I can't say it any other way. I think the number one game overall that I'm looking forward to is the new God of War, and then the Callisto Protocol probably comes in second right now. If you know. It, let me know what y'all all think. I would love to hear from you all. This is your most anticipated game of 2022. I'm your host, Space, aka the Astronaut. Thank y'all for being here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you stay up to date on any content that I drop. I love you all. Take care of yourselves. Spread positivity. And I'm out. Peace.